Welcome into the New Orleans Saints preview show right here on CST. I'm Caroline Gonzalez, joined by Todd Graffanini. Todd, we've seen a lot over the last two weeks. It's finally time to put the pads on, go to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, and put everything to work. Sean Payton talked yesterday, or excuse me, two days ago, about the plans they wanted to implement for this first preseason game, getting ready to go face the Vikings. And a guy he'll surely watch is rookie Eric McCoy. Well, Eric McCoy has taken the reps at number one center probably for the last week and a half. So we're going to see him at center. Now you're going to see uh, possibly Cameron Tom back there as well at some point during the game. Maybe Nick Easton, who's also worked at center. But this is Eric McCoy's job to lose, let's be quite honest. So very anxious to see him out there. He has gotten very good reps in camp. He's gotten better and better on the mental aspect of things. So going out there now against a new opponent. That's something I'm sure he's very excited as well because it's his first professional football game. Let's go ahead and hear from Sean Payton on his thoughts on Eric McCoy going into this week. You know, we've seen a lot of good things. I, I like how he's picked things up. Um, I think he's strong inside. Uh, and I think each day you see progress. Um, so I, I, I think, uh, you know, discussing the personnel the other day in the meeting, we felt like Especially since the pads have come on, we've been able to see some things that are encouraging. And yet there's still you know, a number of things, uh, third down, two minute, some of the protections that he's working through. But uh, I've been real encouraged. How does the, uh, the, the, the kind of relationship building on that line work when, when you got a, a rookie at center? Uh, you know, the guys kind of have to... Well, look, there, there's veterans, you know, both to the right and left, guys that have played a lot, Larry and... and Andrus, obviously Teron and Ryan. Um, you know, I think that's what happens. You, you come in and it, it, look. The center is uh, an important position. Um, Max was a real good leader, a good communicator, and and uh, and I think Eric can be the same. You know, I think uh, you know as, as he's getting more and more familiar with what we're doing. You saw a consistent player at the college level, at, at, a, at a real good college level, and uh, so it's just you know each day working on. You know, getting better, working, working on the things that maybe are new or a little different. I would say that I'm I'm pretty close to being where I need to be. Um, the calls aren't complicated, but of course, there's still things versus different defenses that our team runs that I have to get better at. Another guy, Sean Payton, and everyone else is going to be looking at today is Teddy Bridgewater, who will be suiting up for the Saints again. The last time we saw him was against the Carolina Panthers last year, right before playoffs. And of course, what better time to get some playing time than versus your old team? Yeah, no question about it. Now, Teddy's had a great camp. Not a good camp. I think he's had a great camp. He's gotten better and better each and every day. He's been accurate with his throws. He's been decisive with his throws. So. We don't know officially. We would assume that Teddy Bridgewater is going to start this game, though we don't know again. Uh, Sean Payton has not announced that. We would assume Bridgewater is going to play at least a half, and any rep he can get in preseason is going to be big for him. Another guy out here who's facing his former team is running back Latavius Murray, who's seeing his old team for the first time. No question about it. Look, Murray was injured for a couple days, but he's back out here. He's getting a lot of reps. Uh, he's definitely a guy who is much more impressive in pads. And I'll tell you what, Caroline, he's going to be asked to do things in this offense that he really wasn't asked to do in Minnesota, uh, specifically catch the ball out of the backfield. That'll be a receiver in this offense. Let's go ahead and hear from Latavius Murray on what he had to say about facing his former team. When you're able to go out there and hit somebody else, um, especially when you've been practicing against your own guys for, you know, now here a few weeks and then obviously in the OTAs as well. So um, to go out there and hit, you know, somebody different and, and uh, you know, it to, to be some real football, be live, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And obviously it's my first game in, in these colors, so uh, I'm excited. It feel good just to run over that first guy. It's like, I mean, it's been, it's been a couple of yeah, months yeah, there. Yeah, it yeah. It's not on your own team running over. Yeah, it's going to feel really good. Um, hopefully we get a, you know, hopefully we go out there and, and obviously have a, you know, good outing. Um, being the first time we step on the field, that's what it's about. You know, for the plays that you are out there, make them successful. Um, you know, do all you can do and um, be happy with the results at the end of the day. 
Another position group that the Saints are going to be looking at this year is the wide receivers group. We know Michael Thomas came in at the beginning of training camp after signing his contract, but that allowed a lot of other receivers to step up and show what they can do. Yeah, no question, Caroline. Look, Michael Thomas is going to get his. We, we all know it. He's going to be upwards of 90, 100 catches yet again just because he's that talented. The question this year, and especially in the preseason, is who is going to step up and be another go-to type of guy for Drew Brees. We know Teddy Ginn is a vet as well. He'll get his catches, but can Traquan Smith, who had such a good camp last year in the beginning of the regular season a year ago, can he continue his growth, especially on the mental aspect of the game? Each of the wide receivers that you mentioned uh, have done things during camp. Are we going to see Emmanuel Butler? Are we going to see him play? Uh, Simi Cobbs, uh, we've heard his name as well out there. So can they do what they have done out here on the practice fields in the Dome? Traquan Smith mentioned the other day that he was going off of athletic ability last year. This year he knows the playbook a little bit better and he feels much more confident in this offense. He was going 80% this year, this year, last year, excuse me, this year he's going to go 100%. Austin Carr is another guy that we heard from yesterday talk about the competition in that receiver's room. Let's go ahead and hear from Austin Carr. Sense of urgency is high. Um, I, I feel a hunger um, from the wide receivers to the quarterbacks, the running backs, etc. to um, really whatever blind spots we've missed last year, whatever parts of our game that prevented us from getting to the Super Bowl, winning the Super Bowl, um, we want to cover those now um, and, and cover as much ground as we can before the season starts because um, it's, it's a 16 week grind. What has the competition been like within all of the wide receivers that you guys have here in the game so far? It's been um, very high, um, very talented group. Um, it's an honor to be a part of them. Um, you know, some guys get, get nagging injuries, and um, you know, thank God that, that that hasn't happened to me yet. But um, it, it's been extremely competitive. Um, raises the bar of everybody from Mike on down to the newest rookie. Well, we've covered all things offense. We'll go on the other side of the ball when we come back and talk about the defense. We'll hear from players as well as Coach Sean Payton. You're watching the New Orleans Saints preview show right here on CSD. Welcome back into the New Orleans Saints preview show right here on CST. Caroline Gonzalez joined here by Todd Graffanini. Todd, we covered offense now on the defensive side on the, of the ball. A standout for this defense has been rookie Saquon Hampton. Yeah, he's made plays. Uh, he had uh, two consecutive days where he had an interception. On the third day, he had one right in his hands, which he wasn't able to corral. But that tells you he's got ball skills, Caroline. He's around the football, and if he can make plays with his athleticism, he is going to be key for this defense. The rookie hasn't played in several months, but he expressed his excitement to get back out there. Definitely exciting to be able to uh, put full pads on and play live action football. I'm definitely excited for the opportunity to go out there and compete. First time in the Dome, right? Never, never played inside or have you? No, sir. What do you expect the, the field just walking in there? Uh, I expect a lot of uh, chaos from these fans. Uh, I know this, in this city here that they love football. and. Uh, there's a big, great fan base they have here, so I'm excited to play in front of them. We saw glimpses from defensive end Marcus Davenport last year, but I'm sure he's chomping at the bit to get out there again this year, Todd. Well, well Caroline, it's kind of an unwritten rule of preseason that you don't see a lot of veterans during game one of the preseason. I wouldn't expect that from Davenport. I, I think uh, he's going to be out there as much as he can uh, with the coaches allow him because he just frankly needs the reps. He has got to be one of those dominant pass rushers coming off that right edge. So look for him to play extensively against Minnesota. We've heard he's got a lot of coaching advice, especially from his buddy Cam Jordan. Cam is like the, the coach that you can't really turn off. But, you know, I, I say that lovingly because, you know, he's always there. You know, he's always trying to help me. And um, that's someone that, you know, when I, when I have an idea and I can't get to my coach, I, I spitball it off of him. What I got from Alex the most was knowledge. You know, he was always in his uh, film study and his playbook. You know, he knew the calls, he knew what to be prepared for, and uh, he definitely helped me with that. You know, he taught me different, like, little tricks on uh, film, and, you know, it, it translated. Sean Payton has said many a times that the best way to make this squad is to be able to play multiple positions. One of the guys able to do that is Marcus Shirelles. Let's go ahead and hear from him on how he plans to make an impact on the defensive side. Uh, I think everyone will get a chance to play special teams and defense. Um, they do a good job of rotating here. 
um, and you got to be ready to go if someone goes down or whenever they need you. Anytime you're out there, you try to contribute. You know, where, like I said, wherever they need me out there, whenever they need me, I'll be out there and I'll give 100%. Playing all those positions, how important is versatility uh, when it comes to staying with the team or staying in the NFL for as long as you have? Yeah, very important. You know, rosters are so limited, and especially on game day, you only get 46. So the more you can do, the better. When we come back on the New Orleans Saints preview show right here on CST, we'll talk a little bit more about preseason game number one for the New Orleans Saints. Welcome back to the New Orleans Saints preview show right here on CST. I'm Caroline Gonzalez, joined by Todd Graffanini. Todd, we've covered offense, we've covered defense. We can't forget about the special teams. That is very imperative to the Saints team. Absolutely. It can win you a football game. You go back to the Tampa game last year when Taysom Hill blocked that punt. Completely changed the momentum of that football game. Now look, we know Will Lutz is going to be the place kicker. We know Thomas Morstead is going to be the punter. Who's going to return punts? We'll see. Who's going to return kicks? We'll see. That's what the preseason is for. Special teams coach Darren Rizzi has done a fantastic job early on in his Saints tenure. Expect to see maybe some wrinkles in the special team side of things. Do we see it on Friday night? Looking forward to seeing all of the pieces come together on Friday night. Again, make sure you tune in on Fox 8 to watch the New Orleans Saints versus the Minnesota Vikings. You'll be joined by Joel Myers, John Stinchcomb, Jonathan Vilma, and Megan Payton. That'll do it for today's Saints preview show right here on CST. I'm Caroline Gonzalez, joined by Todd Graffanini. Thanks for joining us.